Hi, my name is Ciro Sannino, I'm a VRE mentor and book author, and today I want to talk to you about the excellent Cryptomatic feature that gives us the possibility to modify color, exposure and other properties of the image as if we were in Photoshop but with the possibility to select specific objects. Cryptomat is only available using the bucket image sampler. So the first step is to change the sampler type from progressive to bucket. We just leave all settings as a default, then in the render elements we add Cryptomat. Make sure that the elements active option is checked. Then launch the render and wait for the calculation to be complete. In this case, we will not modify the lights which is possible with the light mix explained in the dedicated lesson, but we will only make post-production modification as if we were in Photoshop with the advantage, of course, that we are inside the V-Ray frame buffer. Remember that what we are producing now is physically correct already as it respects a series of physical proportions between colors and reflections calculated directly by V-Ray. When we make changes according to our artistic taste, we could break this balance and even worsen photorealism. So what I suggest is always avoid excessive changes. So far, we have only added exposure layers that control the entire image. Now, let's add a new level of exposure and from this icon we select Cryptomat Mask. By using the Peak tool and moving on the image, we see that the names of the different objects in this scene appear here, so we click to select the one we want to modify. So we go into the properties and to slightly darken the wall, we reduce the exposure. And since the surface is also part of the wall, let's go back into Cryptomat and pick to add it. I suggest you always give these layers a name because adding various layers you may find this error with many layers with the same name which makes it difficult to understand what each layer does. We repeat the same process to make the door brighter this time using the curves. We can also change the color of an object. To do this, we add a color balance element, then we follow the same steps. An effect widely used in photography to enhance chrome metals is to increase the contrast on these surfaces. So let's do it with Cryptomat, adding a new level of exposure. When we want to be sure of the objects we are selecting, we can activate and deactivate the Show Preview option.
slightly increasing the contrast and compensating by reducing a little the exposure always gives an interesting photographic touch to chrome surfaces. We can select several objects even if they are part of a group. This radiator, for example, is a group. But if I add a curve to modify it, I'll be forced to select every single object. On the contrary, this bed is a single object, so if I reduce its exposure, the change will be applied to the entire surface. In this case, the only solution is to separate the objects before rendering with the Edit Poly modifier. Finally, we use the curves to give color to this grey vase. Generally, it is impossible to change the color of an object that has no color. That's why the color balance tool don't work in this case, but we can use a specific curves property. Let's create the new layer and select the vase object. By entering only one of the three channels, R, G or B, we can increase or decrease the curve in order to change the red, green or blue component of that surface, thus obtaining its coloring. As you'll have understood, the Cryptomat tool offers endless possibilities. It is our job to use it in the correct way to improve the image, always paying a lot of attention to the balance of photorealism.